Now, moving on to International E-Waste Day. Population growth, increasing prosperity, and changing consumption habits in Ghana are leading to increasing amounts of electoral and electronic waste. E-waste, as it is referred, sits on a multi-million industry with potential of creating jobs and providing foreign exchange. But the trend of importation of large quantities of second-hand appliances with comparatively short remaining life makes the situation worse in Ghana. Now, as Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark the International E-Waste Day, stakeholders are calling for concerted efforts in developing Ghana's waste industry. Manuel Kranting was at the stakeholders' engagement organized by the E-Waste Recycling Roundtable in Accra and now reports. Where we send our batteries to and in most cases when these batteries are picked by this push push board they, ha they, they hammer it and then they let the acid down that is when the, the lead comes out and then we are affected it affects groundwater and also ourselves and also the next thing is the the bulbs the fluorescent tubes it also contains mercury we put it in our normal bin because we are poisoning even ourselves within our own homes you know Vice President of the E-Waste Roundtable Association, Irota, Vivian Ahiyebo, explaining the cultural trend of improper electronic waste disposal in Ghana. For Irota, the informal sector holds the key to building a society which is sensitive to environmentally friendly ways of collecting, managing and disposing of electronic waste, the reason it held a stakeholders' engagement with the Greater Accra Scrap Dealers Association. The scrap dealers, who have over the years been burning non-metallic parts of their wares before selling them, want to Government to expedite measures in establishing an electronic waste recycling plan in the country. Sir, but we are appealing with the government through this media that uh, they have heard and they've heard our, our stand and what we also are facing here. And we know that when they are able to put up such, uh, you know, a plant here, it's going to help in a long way to, to ease some of these uh, negative things that we see in our businesses, which we will so much appreciate. Like I said, if that is done, we'll be so much appreciated. Probably when that is done may not even be the end of our destiny, but we may have, you know, passed one hurdle. And then we go. As Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark the International e Waste Day, Vivian Ahiaiba wants government to provide incentives to recycling companies which operate in the e waste industry. We want government, for uh, for example, in terms of taxation, for machinery that will take care of, uh, for example, some of the recycling activity, some of the taxes should be uh, uh, taken off. And also, we want uh, PPPs, programs that are sustainable that have uh, environmental impacts. You know.